So some of these lettuces were trying to bolt, so I nipped them off. This is an example of a kind of wild self-seeding brassica. So ones that I don't manage at all, they just come up. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this for my salad. But for the chickens, I always give them the bottom leaves. This chicory, I noticed was kind of in my way, so I decided that he would be chicken food. I have snap peas. This is what happens to radishes when you leave them in too long. This is why turnips are better. Or black radishes that last longer before bolting. Tomatoes, look how tiny the tomatoes have to be for them to ripen at the end of July. I'll just say carrot flowers smell so good. Oh my god. I have this young juicy comfrey that is also chicken food. I want a little bit more spice, so I'm gonna grab these older rocket plants. This is uh, the wild arugula. This is my broadleaf dock. I have plenty of these and they are going to seed right now. When I see seeds, I think of chickens. because this is so massive, I'll just give the chickens one of these. Here's a great example of how soil can differ from one spot right next to the other. So again, you get this where it's too weedy. This is oxide daisy. In fact, I like eating it too. It gets more floral as it ages. It's at this stage, right? It's about to flower. Mmm. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna grab some of those for my salad. This is garlic that was left in the full bulb. So they're growing really close together, but it's a good amount for salad.
So if you pull up one, it kind of pulls up the one that was next to it. So you kind of put it back in as a kind of storage place. I'm gonna harvest this sorrel. I feed the sheep sorrel and the French sorrel seeds to the chickens. I'm going to end this particular video with some chicken TV. I film myself feeding chickens. First I'm going to harvest this uh, wild lettuce patch right in here, growing among all these volunteer brassicas or kills. There's so much freaking wild lettuce on the property. I can every day give them like twice as this amount and still have a gazillion. I'm still looking at a gazillion lettuces in front of me and where we just were at, higher up, I didn't even flash all the wild lettuce that was up there.
Those white chickens are carnivores, insane carnivores. I'm so angry I didn't film it, but I fed them a small mole. Well, I fed one of them. I wish I filmed it. I was digging somewhere and uh, this baby mole came up. And whenever I see something like that, a little creature, first thing that comes to my head is, is this chicken food? Could this be chicken food? It's like the size of a mouse. Chickens eat <laughs> Anyway, um, I threw it in here and the white ones just nab anything that's meat. The white ones snatch them first, one of the white ones. And the, but the other ones, can, they either know what it is as well, or they see the excitement. Like the excitement they get when you feed them meat versus plants. So this is like mild. Oh, oh yeah, let's share, blah, blah, blah. But when you give them meat, worms, leftover human food, whatever, that's meat. They're just, I will not share. And when the one grabbed the mole, it was like doing Olympic running <laughs> around the coop. Did you like the noise? Around the coop, getting chased like <laughs> by all the other chickens. <laughs> and it was like running into, it was running into all the things, tripping, bashing itself. It would stop for a little bit to try to eat it, but it was, you know, still pretty big for their mouths, right? But then couldn't get it down enough before a chicken would come and try to steal it, so then start running again. Top it up a bit more. Stop, top it. Until I was able to swallow it. I need to bring my camera. I didn't think one of them would eat it. So if you want to see crazy carnivore chickens get these jerseys, they also tend to be higher in the pecking order.